it's 5 in the morning and where are we going hello and welcome back to the channel guys today uh, it's not an informative video like proper informative video of course we're gonna cover some parts of the cars as well but this is the first kind of a vlog you can say or a day vlog basically um, right now it's 5 a.m in the morning and we are heading over for the kayaking so um, guys if you uh, any of you of course everybody knows but if any of you does not know what is kayaking it's it's just a paddle boat um, you have to the paddle is in your hand and then you know uh, people goes for fishing right so that kind of boat it would be kind of and that's called kayaking and we are gonna go in Baroda so uh, right now we are in Ahmedabad and we are heading towards uh, Baroda and we will also cover the um, the first express highway you can call it of India uh, which is connecting from uh, Ahmedabad to Baroda which is about 93.1 kilometer long and uh, yeah we're gonna express uh, we're gonna experience the express highway today and uh, yes of course we are also gonna check a little bit of high speed um, handling of the Honda City 2020 so stay tuned for that showering a little bit we have just reached the expressway as you can see uh, Ahmedabad Varodra express bay is right here and the first toll tax you have to pay with your fast tag is right in front <laughs> heavily was wrong with the weather suddenly I don't understand but yeah the the expressway overall is really good at night as you can see we are constantly going at 100 and comfortably we can go it's 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 a good chance for me as well to test at or staying at a high speed uh, because in the cities and everywhere in the in the national highway as well you don't get that much of chances to get on a constant speed of uh, more than 100 you know so uh, Let's see, let's see how it goes and if I get a chance we will definitely do a 0 to 100 as well. We are going basically at, at a good pace. We are maintaining the speed of 110, 120 around right now on Express Highway. Although it's it's kind of a night time and uh, it's raining heavily. Uh, but still we are able to maintain that kind of speed. It's so good Express Highway that uh, they have made really commendable job done. Um, of course, uh, the handling of this car, if we talk about the handling, it's really good. I'm able to overtake really easily and at 120 speed as well. I don't I don't feel any shivers or, uh, you know, it's, it's just going smooth. I, I just feel like I'm driving at 50, even though I'm driving at 120. So that's good how the performance looks like of uh, this car. We're sitting, let me remind you, we are sitting in the Honda City 2020 CVT ZX model, which is the top end model of the Honda City. And um, yes, we are really enjoying this ride. Um, just pan the camera in the front. Look at the weather. That's how the weather looks like. And uh, really uh, dark and uh, the showers are coming on the face, but it's still, this car is giving me a really comfortable ride all together even if um, even when i was like leaving the house it was showering a little bit and we had a not good road when coming uh, till the express highway but yes uh, we managed it really good there was no hassle no worries so overall i would say that for long trips this car would be really ideal uh, even at high speeds on this kind of express highway of course do not drive at high speeds on the national normal national highways or state highways do not do that but on the express highway of course you have to go at least at 100 um, you know because the roads are clear and it's easy to go roads so definitely it's a good thing of course this kind of people will come on the way 
uh, which will change the lanes um, you know quickly and frequently which is not really ideal for an express highway but yes what to do this is what it is but yes a really good comfortable ride all together let's go ahead i think uh, we have uh, not even past 25 kilometers i don't know we have uh, we had just entered the express highway uh, some time back and and let's just see what kind of road looks like right now so it says anand 33 218 for uh, the surat but uh, we are just heading over to the varodra so it would be around 70 now the breakings as well um, i was just going and i had to break really quickly because there was like traffic kind of stuff in my front but it's really good i'm even if you see right now i'm breaking well i'm breaking well going behind tailing the car and then i'm just getting ahead it's so simple like I really feel good when in this car if i had any other car right now in this segment or even in compact suv or um, the lower segments then this would be not the case you know so um, that's that's a really good thing what the handling the braking the comfort of the car in the high speeds are really good you can tail the car just back there and just you can go up um, ahead from there and it's really simple to do that so even though i don't have to struggle anything you know it's it's really simple how i did it so yeah just wanted to give you that update guys a uh, right sunshine in front of you um, really good uh, experience you know it's it's orange clouds over there and uh, showering a little bit yet i don't know if uh, baroda weather shows at little bit hazy but uh, let's see if it interrupts our kayaking today but we are very excited i'm just waiting to do that kayaking stuff today and uh, um, let's see how it goes you know so uh, it's been really good uh, experience today that uh, we have crossed uh, 60 70 kilometers uh, just within in 20 25 minutes not more than that so that's how good the express highway was overall so yeah we are just almost reaching anand so anand is just couple of kilometers i think we have to take an exit from there because we don't have to go to the baroda city we have to go um, on the outskirts of uh, let's say suburbs of baroda so uh, it would be good if we not enter the city and go via anand with uh, its national highway 8 and uh, we will reach about i don't know maybe at 6 uh, 6 45 7 something so it's time to interchange the roads and we will be exiting the uh, amdavad baroda express highway and we will be taking a clever 8 exit and going towards the state highway right now state highway 60 i think or nh8 i'm not sure but we are going to exit right now and we'll go to anand we will uh, take a stop over over there for a tea coffee and we'll uh, we'll reach by 7 of course uh, for the kayaking in 1 km see exit left we're on a roll yes we are on the roll did you hear that so we are just taking a left and this is the exit point let's exit from here thanks for using the expressway yes it was it was really a, a great experience overall so that's how the exit point looks like and you also have a washrooms over there so you can park the car A really good morning. It's, it's a really good morning for us right now, and uh, whoever are watching this video, uh, really good weather. See, this is the sunroof view. It's it's a pleasant morning to be honest. It's really good. I just wanna uh, stop somewhere and take a good breakfast. That would be a really good thing right now to do. You know. See.
So guys, the weather is just great. We are heading over to Anand right now, and I'll catch you up over there. Guys, we are just passing through the NH8, um, NH48. Sorry, NH48 is the national highway right now. What we are passing from, uh, from Anand to uh, Baroda. So uh, we are not entering directly Baroda from the city side. We are going to enter uh, from the outskirts, from the outside. So um, uh, this is just an update that uh, when you visit Anand, Anand is a must visit place guys because um, it's a really beautiful city as you can see the view outside and um, we were coming through the highway from there as well we saw the Amul factory as well and uh, there were so many good good monuments and infrastructure done in the Anand itself so a really beautiful city I, I felt like and it has a three lane highways um, so of course in terms of uh, its broader roads they have and they uh, it's kind of a, it's of course not a planned city but yes it's it really uh, looks good overall I really liked Anand and the nature and everything over here is much much better than Ahmedabad. So yeah, that was just an update. Uh, we are gonna go to Baroda. We are almost on the way. We are going to reach in about 30 minutes or so. Let's see. And we have almost reached here um, it's 720 right now and uh, we are at the river right now okay so we'll wait for the person who is going to come with the kayaks and we'll then start kayaking I'll give you an updates. Let me just park the car and I'll continue. Now, if we talk about the ground clearance again for the sedans, um, not the best like the real SUVs, but of course, if you drive properly, I have uh, all uh, people sitting in the car right now. And uh, it's just fine. I'm not touching with the with the bottom of the car. But however, if you if you go in a speed, of course, it's going to touch for sure. Uh, not like the hardcore SUVs, but yeah, overall, it's good. Look at the roads. That's how it is. We have just reached here, and we're waiting waiting for the guy right now. And let's see when he comes. We will start. So guys, our kayaks are getting ready and see, this is the first time experience we are experiencing with the kayaks and let's see how it works. So we are just ready with the life jackets and everything. That's the paddle what you're looking at. And I'm ready to mess with Okay. So, yeah. All right. Okay. 
Paddling with one hand and one hand is on um, the camera what I'm holding right now. Look at that. Look at the view. A really good experience overall. Check that out. We are somewhere at the center. I don't know where are we right now. But this is how it is. Look at that. That's how you do it. Do you see it in the camera? Okay, so great experience overall. We are having a two hour session over here. I'm going backwards for no reason. Maybe because of the flowing water. Uh, over there is the dense forest. Over there as well. So on the front, everything, uh, everything is a forest. Over there, there is a bridge where we actually came from. And uh, yeah, there are those guys over there if you can see uh, where they are doing kayaking so uh, you can rent the boats over there the cost are not much you know it's just uh, 600 for uh, two hours they give you a life jacket like that if you can see life jacket the kayak and the paddles so you have to make sure that that paddle uh, the deep end is right inside the water like that you can go. So water is not that deep. Uh, if you are doing for the first time, you do not have to worry. Water is not that deep. It's just five to six uh, feet. They will give you a location where uh, till where you can actually go. Because if you go beyond that, then uh, it turns to 50, 60 feet deep. So uh, that's that's very deep. Normally swimming pools are eight to ten feet deep when you go into deep swimming pools. But here it is 50 to 60 feet, and there are uh, fishes and prawns. Uh, there are no alligators, of course. And Everybody know in the in Baroda there are many alligators, but there are no crocodiles or alligators over here. Uh, there are only fishes and prawns, which will never basically harm you. So this is Mahi River. Uh, where are we right now? And um, uh, there is nothing to worry about if you're coming for the first time. You definitely should try this experience. It's really good. Uh, looking at the sunrise and um, boating inside. A kayak in the water is really good. There, there you go. The shell is going. Where are you going, bro? So, uh, if I see any fishes inside, I'll. It's very uh, greeny water, so uh, you cannot see it properly. Of course, they would be somewhere in the deep. But uh, if I see any, I'll definitely show you. But yeah, there are uh, for sure fishes and blue prawns are there. So, uh, yeah. So we are just going to complete this session. If I have more time, I will definitely cover more. And uh, then we will see some some of the Baroda city today. And then we will head back to Ahmedabad. Um, I'm not sure if, I, if we are going back to Ahmedabad this evening or uh, we'll stay here. Uh, depends on how the city basically is. So this is, this is the first time we are in Baroda. And I don't know what kind of city Baroda is. So um, of course, we will see. And where is our car? Our car, can you see our car over there? Over there? Uh, there, there, over there. Yes. So there's our car parked over there. Uh, you can come with um, camping chairs. You can come with the dharis or what you call it, the rugs, which you, which you can uh, place it in the gardens over there and you can chill out with your snacks, you know. So uh, really good experience overall. Uh, like it, like it. Alright, we'll see you in some time. So, we're back in the car. We really enjoyed the kayaking over there. Uh, not much people over there, so it was uh, boring at one point. But if you have much more people, then um, it would be great. So, yeah, uh, kayaking overall, it was a complete um, good experience and, and uh, really great uh, thing to do. So yeah, we are heading over to um, Baroda right now. Let's see what's in the city and let's explore the city. Yeah, let's go. Hey friends, so uh, just an update. We had uh, finished everything. I don't think there are anything more to do in Baroda. 
but yeah we went to uh, some mall had some uh, breakfast and everything and right now it's 12 12 we came at five, we you know um started our journey at 5 and at 12 we are almost done with everything and we're heading toward backs to Ahmedabad um on the express highway really good thing uh, this was after a long time we had uh, i had take this um city outside uh, Ahmedabad and it was really great experience overall last time we visited polo forest if you want to check that out you can check in the i button up here but um this was again baroda uh, has uh, nothing much to offer is the same as our amdabad city so um yeah there are there are um between cities like nadiad and anand and those are the places where you can uh, meet the nature you know so um yeah and uh, of course baroda people really like you guys uh, they they are very polite and very friendly uh where on the other hand in our city is not the same case but overall it was a great experience um coming here in baroda and uh, we are heading back to uh amdabad and we have uh, maybe the petrol cost of total would be not more than 1000 uh going and coming back uh, from amdabad so um it's about let's say uh um, 100 130 kilometers going and coming back so in total it is about 260 kilometers and the petrol cost would be 1000 approx i'm not sure but yeah lesser than that maybe because um uh, 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 while being petrol price to be at 105 rupees uh at shell petrol pump or 106 rupees i th- i mean um, at shell petrol pumps and uh, Yes still we are we have only spent not more than 1000 so that's a great stuff uh, so this is a shastri bridge which we are heading towards on baroda and we will be touching express highway in no time and we'll shoot some over there and wrap up the video all right so we are heading over yeah she said it already we're heading over to the amdavad express highway we are exiting baroda now and then keep left okay. to the lookout so this is how the exit looks like you have to go on the left and keep left highway. to the lookout you have to uh, climb up towards the express 1 and we are there We have uh, done already, as you can see, zero to hundred. We reached within ten seconds. This was amazing, and like a butter, we went over. Whoa! Great turn. Express highway are really good. Loved it. Now we will stop a little bit over there and do a zero to hundred right away. Just give me one second, and we are here. Let's stop. Okay. So three, two, one, go. This is in the D mode. This is not even in the sports mode. See how good it's revving up. When you go 120 plus, the 80 kilometer per hour uh, 
blinker will keep blinking for a while uh, to let you uh, know that you are um, of course in in a really high speed and i have set that beeper in my honda connect app so you can also do that if you have a honda city you can um, make uh, make a speed limit of 120 km pl and you can uh, ph sorry and uh, you can make a setting that it will beep when you go above 120 It's really good. It's nice sunny weather right now. When we came, if you remember, just before six or seven hours, it was very hazy and cloudy and storms over there. But uh, right now, it's a whole complete different scenario. I'm loving this express highway of Baroda and Ahmedabad. Really good. I'm driving at 130 right now. We're going good. We're going good and very comfortable. I'm able to change lanes. Really comfortable and the handling of the car, I really love it. Right. So, guys, basically this was not a technical uh, video. As I told you in the beginning, this was kind of you cannot call it as a vlog as well. Not complete vlog. Give us yes. I covered everything uh, what I had done uh, today. Most of the things I have already covered. Um, But there are few things which we did, uh, which we have we were not able to cover. But yes, um, overall the roads and uh, the speed we have covered in, on the express highway as well. So uh, that's really good. And uh, overall experience for today was uh, was fantastic. No complaints about it. But of course there is there is nothing much to do in the city. of baroda so uh, we are just um, heading back we were basically we just came here for for the kayaking and that's uh, that purpose is already finished so um, there is nothing else to do right now but yes um, if i get a more clear road we will again do 0 to 100 i'm not sure if we will uh, get because right now it's 12:30 and uh, most of the traffic will be live on the express highway of course so yeah Overall, uh, good experience, guys. If you have uh, congested traffic like that, and if you want to go um, overtake faster in this car, simply you can um, go to S and see the boost of speed now. Just add a little bit of pedal shifting, and you are there. You will go like a rocket. Uh, see, it just went to 140 easily. You know, uh, you don't have to struggle anything, and and nobody is able to you know catch me in this speed right now on this expressway right now. So, um, the, because the, why it's not possible for anybody else to overtake me right now, even at 140, because of the handling of this car. Bigger cars will definitely roll here and there, and it won't have the same stability. What a long cars will have. So that's one benefit of having a sedan. Of course, a long sedan, not a compact sedan. Again, having a long sedan will have this kind of, um, you know, advantage with you that it will go smooth. You will get a nice handling. The brakings, if your brakings are good, like what I have in this. Car right now, the Honda City. He was trying to come in my way, and and I was at 120, 130 or something, and my braking was so good that I could just, you know, uh, handle him really nice. So uh, you know that kind of road rage can happen uh, in the high speeds. Uh, definitely when someone is coming in your way but if you have a good handling and braking there's nothing stopping you and you can go easily so that's the benefit of the long cars having honda city 2020 that is the benefit that you are getting a clear way out of the hurdles what you're going to get even on the express way you know india this is india you know the express way will also harass you in the day time so uh, this is how you can just uh, tackle this situation and get going basically so yeah uh, as you see the traffic over there it's a good traffic i'm still riding at my speed and i see that overtaking stuff 
people were also asking me in the comments how good the overtaking is in the CVT Honda City, particularly not in the manual petrol, but in the CVT. You just saw that I overtaken three cars together with a great speed. You know, they were also in the speed, but now they are back far away right now. Even if the long distance are there, you know, if you have to drive constantly for um, 500, 600, 700 kilometers. Uh, from uh, morning to night that won't be an issue with this car you won't get tired that's also a benefit of a CVT just that you know and it's nothing lesser than the manual of course so if you see um, a fortuner coming behind me uh, he's following since you know um, for more than uh, 50 kilometers now and he's, he's trying hard to overtake right now but he's not able to do it he's honking when he's near and and you know when i pick up the speed he's he's back way back you know so just just to let you know basically that uh, what are the benefits of having a long car you know there is a trend of getting compact suvs and suvs these days in india but um, this is the main benefit uh, of having a long car when you're driving for long distance you know uh, of course suvs are for off-roadings more more of off-roadings of course and that these cars cannot beat it but at this kind of roads there are no chance no chance that they will be able to overtake this kind of cars if you're driving nice so um, really good really good um, I've, i never knew this but uh, even today with you guys i'm learning this that what kind of different difference there are uh, in terms of long cars and having a high cars so we're ending the express highway we just took about uh, 30 minutes to end the in 400 meters we have just exited the um, express highway and we are going towards the sardar Paldir ring road um, we do not have to go to the tool booth now um, when you're exiting the expressways. So as you can see, we have just entered Ahmedabad and uh, it was a joy ride of course. Uh, please give a thumbs up if you think that or also please write down in the comment if you think this kind of video will be more useful because in this kind of videos I'll cover uh, the whole journeys and everything and, and also you can uh, you know uh, see how exactly uh, different kind of thing works so it will give you a real life experience. In 800 meters at the roundabout take the second exit go 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 right so uh, this kind of videos will basically um, help you and me as well give you a real life experience of driving these cars and um, you know covering one one topic will just focusing on those particular topics but here it will come automatically and uh, you will exactly know what happens in the real life situations like that so, so you know we basically covered all kind of uh, things like uh, handling of the car top speeds and you know high speed handling the breakings in in the storms and rainy weather uh, the slippy roads are there you know so uh, you know how good the car can break in those kind of situation uh, if you're driving in an, at a high speed on the expressways like this one we just did and uh, you know we we the weather completely changed uh, drastically um, and um, gave you a dramatic effect of uh, sunrise and nighttime and and the rains and the hazies and everything so um, we can actually cover more of this kind of stuff um, in terms of real life experience you know so yes uh, it's time to wrap up it's 126 and uh, we are just uh, heading over and completing our day for now uh, with this car and um, thank you so much again for watching and if you have liked this video please give a thumbs up please type a, type in comments below what your thoughts are about it and what other topics you would like to cover right so i will definitely try uh, this was a kind of a vlog as well and um, a technical mixture so um, a complete mixture combination of the video what you have got today um, so let me know if this kind of uh, videos if you like it or or you just want a specific topic videos so let me know in the comments if you have any topics to cover uh, we'll definitely uh, cover that as well and if you have uh, purchased a new car and um, 
if you want to make a delivery video of your car please uh, type down in the comments as well and i'll be happy to reach out to you and uh, help you make that video for possible you know so yes thank you so much again for watching this video and we shall see you for the next time please don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, if you are if you are new to this channel and uh, please um, press that bell icon which you see just beside the subscribe button to never miss an update about my videos thank you so much again guys and it was pleasure thank you so much and see you for the next time till then goodbye